Misa Amane is an up-and-coming model and supporter of Kira, who eventually becomes the second Kira. After gaining a Death Note, she seeks out Kira in order to thank him for killing the man who murdered her family and to offer him her help. Having made the trade for the Shinigami Eyes, Misa learns that the identity of Kira is Light Yagami. After a meeting with Light, she decides to dedicate her life to helping Light however she can and becomes determined to use her eyes to uncover L's real name. Welcome to the Imagi. In today's video, we're going to go over the life of Misa Amane. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. A year before the start of the series, Misa witnessed the murder of her family during an attempted home robbery. The trial against her parents' murderer continued over a long stretch of time, during which opinions that he was falsely accused began to surface. After he was killed by Kira, Misa felt justice had been served, prompting her to become a loyal Kira supporter. One night, shortly after beginning her modeling career, Misa met an obsessed, knife-wielding stalker. He confessed his feelings to Misa, but upon her rejection, he attacked and attempted to kill her. A Shinigami named Jealous, who had been watching Misa from the Shinigami realm and had fallen in love with her, wrote down the name of her stalker and killed him, ultimately saving Misa's life. Since Shinigami are meant to shorten human lifespans and not extend them, Jealous himself died, turning to dust and leaving behind only his death note. Since Misa was meant to die, but was saved by Jealous, the years of Jealous' lifespan were given to Misa's, extending her lifespan greatly past the average lifespan of a human being. Another Shinigami, Rem, witnessed the sacrifice and decided that Jealous' notebook should belong to Misa in accordance with Jealous' wishes. After giving Misa the Death Note, Rem was obligated to stay with her, and Rem eventually develops feelings for her over time, as Jealous did. In the hope of meeting and thanking Kira for avenging her parents, Misa made the I deal with Rem, making her actually more powerful than Light was as Kira, and making it much easier to kill people with the Death Note. History Misa plans on making videotapes in order to get Kira's attention, so she has a friend of hers prepare the tapes so as to ensure that her fingerprints won't be on the tapes. She sends four tapes to Sakura TV, and the station reports live that they have received the tapes four days later. He reports that the first tape contains a voice recording which predicted the death of two arrested criminals. That night, the criminals both die of heart failure at 7pm. The host states that since only Kira could perform such an act, they were sure that the tapes are from Kira. He also states that they were told to broadcast the second tape at 5.59pm, and that they had not watched the tapes themselves. The broadcast begins and is viewed by the Japanese task force. A voice states, I am Kira, and kills a news anchor at the time the voice promised. The voice recording says that one death is surely not enough to prove that they are Kira, so they will sacrifice another commentator from Taiyo TV for speaking against Kira as well. As the broadcast continues, the voice says that they do not wish to kill innocent people, and that the police do not have to be considered enemies, and that Kira's goal is to create a world without crime. Kira, quote unquote, continues by stating that even if you disagree with Kira, as long as you do not go against Kira in public, you will not be killed. Ukita arrives at Sakura TV station before Misa kills him. So Ichiro Yagami drives a bus through the front doors of Sakura TV station. Kira continues by asking the police to give an answer four days from now, on April 22nd, if they will help Kira create a better world, and that Kira has tapes to be aired at 6pm of the same day in response to their answer. So Ichiro exits the vehicle with his jacket covering the area around his face, and threatens Demagawa for the original tapes and the copies. As the task force watches the broadcast, Sakura TV's broadcast is cut, while two other stations continue to report on the incident happening in front of the Sakura TV station. L calls Vice Director Kitamura and Soichiro and arranges for a large number of police officers to block Soichiro from Kira's view using their bodies and armored police vehicles as cover. NHN reports that the police have taken a stance against Kira. The next day, the task force arrives at headquarters and L explains that tapes 3 and 4 had arrived with instructions. If the police agreed to work with Kira, tape number 3 should be aired. If they did not, tape number 4 should be aired. The third tape contains details of the agreement, saying that the police are to release all details of criminals so that Kira can deal judgment onto them. To seal the agreement, those in the upper ranks of the police along with L must reveal their identities. The fourth tape is more or less the same, although it's worded differently. L tells the task force to inform Sakura TV that they can air the fourth tape. On April 22nd, the tape is aired. The fake Kira states that if criminal reports stop, 
Kira will kill police officers and reporters, and then demands that the life for someone in charge of the Kira investigation be handed over. The directors, or L's. The fake Kira says to choose one and reveal them in four days and that, because Kira knows the director's face, there are no special requirements. However, if they choose L, he must appear on Sakura TV's 6 o'clock news and give a 10 minute speech. The fake Kira says that he or she will decide if the person on the news is L. And if Kira decides that he isn't, Kira will take the lives of several police officers as compensation. The fake Kira says to be truthful, as Kira does not wish to kill those who have not sinned, and to think carefully over the next four days. Meanwhile, Light Yagami and Ryuk watch the broadcast, amused, while Light decides to find a way to contact and subsequently manipulate the new Kira without revealing his own identity. On April 24th, Soichiro Yagami informs L that the ICPO has decided that the detective should appear on TV. L also deduces that this is the work of a second Kira. L says that catching one Kira could definitely lead to clues about the other. He then says that a battle has begun between them and Kira to find the second Kira first, and that there's a chance that they will uncover the real Kira in the process. Meanwhile, Rem asks Misa if it's a good idea to not use the Death Note for herself, which Misa says that she is using it for herself. She wants to meet Kira, talk to him, and find out what kind of person he is. Misa explains that she moved here to live by herself and sent the tapes to the TV station so that she can catch Kira's attention. She tells Rem that Kira must be interested in her by now and could want to meet her as much as she wants to meet him. Rem says that Misa is playing a dangerous game and could get killed, and Misa replies that it will be fine as Kira is probably nice to girls and she has the Shinigami eyes and therefore the upper hand. You know, Misa ain't afraid. L has Light join the task force, then they forge a response, posing as the real Kira. As it's broadcasted, Misa watches with excitement from her room and says she has some backup tapes that she saved and is going to dub the sound over them. Rem asks her what she plans to do, and Misa says that she's going to reply to Kira, and then wonders what she's going to say to him. Sometime later, Misa forms a response herself, which mentions Shinigami. She takes advantage of this mention in her next entry, a diary, where she mentions Shinigami at a big sports event, which is meant to throw off the investigation. However, the main part of the message is, my friend and I showed off our notebooks in Aoyama, successfully prompting Light as Kira to go to Aoyama where a disguised Misa notices his lifespan is absent, meaning that he owns a Death Note, and concludes he is Kira, while falling in love with him instantly. God, is that what love at first sight is? Jesus. After finding out his address by purchasing the information, Misa arrives at Light's house, telling his mother and sister that she has his notebook. When she's in private with him, she explains what's happened, and asks to be his girlfriend and partner in crime, admitting that she wouldn't even mind if he simply uses her. Light agrees, intending to use her for her Shinigami eyes, which would help kill L. Light tells her to make a new tape, which would make it seem like the first and second Kiras still haven't allied or met yet. Light explains to her that he'll have to date a bunch of other girlfriends in order to mask suspicion, but Misa protests, saying that she'll kill the girls. Yandere simulator right there. Light threatens her, but in turn, Rem says that should Misa die, Rem would assume it's Light and kill him instantly. Light instructs Misa to not meet him until two weeks later. However, not too long after, Misa impulsively arrives at his home against his wishes. Light takes advantage of this situation. Light uses Misa's second cell phone to use for emergencies, and he kisses her. Misa meets Light on campus, seeing Elle for the first time, as well as his name. Soon after, she spawns a crowd where her phone gets stolen by Elle, and is taken away. She is then captured by Elle under suspicion of being the second Kira. The task force found several pieces of evidence in her apartment. Stamps like the one used to mail the Kira tapes to Sakura TV, a pen with the same ink, and a notebook with paper like the paper sent with the tapes. They also found receipts for train tickets from Nagano and Tokyo, the places the tapes were sent from, as well as flower pollen from flowers that grew in the area Misa previously lived in. Misa is put into confinement unable to move her body or see due to L's restraints. Because Misa refuses to talk, L tells Watari to do everything possible to make her, and to even resort to torture if necessary. Misa eventually asks Rem to kill her. L and the others watching, who are unable to see Rem since they haven't touched Misa's death note, believe Misa's talking to them. As an alternate solution, Rem eventually convinces Misa, who had originally refused, not wanting to forget her love for Light, to give up ownership of the Death Note. 
Rem assures Misa that her feelings for Light will not go away and that she'll simply forget that Light is Kira. Misa gives up ownership of her Death Note, causing Misa to lose all of her memories of the Death Note, being the second Kira and having met Kira. After losing her memories and thus forth not sure as to how she got into her situation in the first place, she assumes that a stalker fan of her modeling work kidnapped her and starts talking aloud to convince the stalker to let her go. Elle and the task force think she's playing dumb, but eventually conclude that it's not an act. Light is eventually able to create a situation in which she's free, but still under surveillance. Misa proves to be a surprising asset to the investigation by uncovering the identity of the third Kira. Yes, there is a third Kira. We haven't mentioned it, but there is a third Kira. She also establishes an alliance with L, whom she only knew as Yuzaki. This unlikely friendship begins when L tells Misa that he understands her feelings for Light, and touched by this, Misa kisses him on the cheek and offers to be his friend. L comments that she's the first and only person to ever do so. But after regaining her memories as the second Kira, Misa trades for the Shinigami eyes a second time with Ryuk and once again takes on the role of Kira. When L notes that the murders continued once Misa was released, Rem realizes that Misa will no doubt be discovered by L, and the only way to prevent this would be to kill L. Disgusted with light but willing to save Misa's life, Rem writes down Watari and L's real names. After the both of them die, Rem turns to dust, having saved Misa's life and expanding her lifespan. After all of this, Misa assists light in the years during the time skip. When Mello and the Mafia got their hands on the Death Note, she used her eyes in order to find the current owner, Jack Nalin. She also poses as Kira during Light's plan to relinquish the Death Note to the task force. Sometime later, Light sends Demagawa and his men to attack the SPK, with her keeping watch of the entrance, waiting for Nier to leave the building, allowing her to write down his name after seeing her face. This plan failed as Nier had used money to escape and then wore a helmet. Yes. Nier escaped because he wore a helmet. Because the task force now suspects Light, he expects surveillance and has her forfeit her ownership of the Death Note a second time. After her memories are gone, Misa ends up spending the remainder of Light's life, which is about two months, in the company of Kanzo Mogi as he investigates her. She also develops a conflict between her and Takada, Light's new girlfriend. At the end of the anime, shortly after Light's death, Misa is seen standing on the ledge of a tall building alone. Although it's not shown, it's theorized that she commits suicide following Light's death. Although it's not shown, it's theorized that she committed suicide. But in the manga, there is no theory, she does commit suicide. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos.